a little windy today. I apologize for the wind noise if there's an abundance of it. But decided to go on a little solo explore today <laughs> because it's getting harder and harder to get the rest of the family out of the house when it's this windy and this cold. But I forget the name of this place, but it's an important watering hole along the old Spanish trail. I'll annotate it down below, down here. But, uh, you see the remnants of the well right there. And then there's a more modern wellhead here. This looks like possibly a foundation for a, for a uh, water tank. Oh. And a bullet. Apparently the donkeys like to hang out here too. There's donkeys all over the place. Oh, what's this? Appears to be a popular camping spot as well. that is comment in the comment section I have absolutely no idea where the hell I'm going but I'm going by myself I think possibly up there someplace I don't know if you can see it or not but there is some uh, abandoned mining activity up there and uphill from there is a a spot that Deb and I visited 12 years ago? Very long time ago. Obviously, I'm going to edit this and and I'll know where I was, but right now, what we're going to, at the time of this recording, we're going to discover together where we end up. Maybe broke down in the middle of nowhere because nobody knows where I'm going. I'm violating all the principles that I, that I usually apply when I go on these off road adventures. And uh, hoping it pans out. It is freaking cold out there. Holy cow. The wind is blowing directly out of the north. It's, you know, I know it's all relative, but it's probably 40. It's cold. Sun's warm, but you get out of the sun. It is freaking cold. Well, let's continue on and see where we end up. Well, just out here in the middle of nowhere. There's old homestead. No! This is his old house here. Happiness is a warm gun. Hello? Well, this is pretty quaint. Check that out. Timbers. It's a nice little shack, man.
water closet. Bathroom. And bedroom. Interesting mosaic. It's pretty nice. more sh possibly the cistern or the outhouse I would imagine there's a spring right there looks like the main house let's check out there's another house over here I think I there was a building back over here. Let's check that one out next. I think that might be a capped well. What do you think? Comment in the comment section. Look at that. It's a wellhead. A cistern. There's water down there. Probably chicken coop. Oh, no. Look at this. Probably where they kept the horse. Looks like uh, a manger. Maybe goats. That's pretty small corral for, for a horse. Probably goats. This looks like it might have been a barn instead of a house. The doors are pretty large. This looks like a uh, can't be that old. It's got aluminum cans inside the walls. So 70s. Shelves. Well, we freaking use the. Let's call that the barn. Let's go check out this other building. It's a Tilio tile um, countertop. Nice. This is really nice. This was probably really nice back in the day. Uh, oven. There's a, uh, they had a little, like a little wood stove here. And uh, 
an oven or something here. I don't know. It's pretty small. It must have been a pantry. This, this didn't have, even have a door in it. This is a complete open air. There was a door here. This is all completely open. And there was a door back over here. That kitchen was completely open air. It didn't have no door in it at all. Oh, check that out. A little pass through here. This must have been like I don't know, maybe a mess. Mess hall? A mess hall. This is mud adobe. Very nice. <laughs> I like that little building. That's and look at this courtyard. Let's take a walk down the way. There's another building over here. Made in uh, Myers M Y E R S. This is eighteen. 55, 62, 1, C, C, 17, E, S, Y, C, made in D, what the hell is that? See, this is this kind of stuff that gets me intrigued because somebody took the time and invested the time and resources to put all this out here and literally we're in the middle of freaking nowhere <laughs> and you know there's no clear evidence of the reason why it's here right like there's there's literally nothing left this place has been picked clean although i'll say the donkeys seem to like this area a lot. All right, let's keep going. Well, that uh, that mine up there is not accessible from this road. In fact, I just glassed it, and I think that uh, I'm not real sure. I have to I have to Google Earth it, but I don't think it's accessible from the road that I'm on right now. So I think. 
we're not gonna go up there today. And this road heads across this uh, alluvial fan here. And I think it ends up uh, on the other side of that hill in front of us is Sandy Valley. I think that's where it ends up. Okay, I've never been on this road before. Let's see where it takes us. GoPro quit working and this road that I'm on is getting progressively rougher and this thing's starting to get warm again so I'm gonna turn around because I haven't pre-run this so I have no, absolutely no idea where this road goes maybe I'll look into that and we'll come back later right now I'm gonna head back down and maybe stop at the Copa something like that what time is it it's a little after two o'clock now uh maybe i'll stop at one of the talc vines down by tacopa if not then i'll just next scene i'll close the video out 